My name is Arthur Helmicki. I'm a full professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. My name is Arjun Chiddarwar. I'm 26 years old and I'm from India. I'm a graduate student at CEAS, specializing in computer science. Right now, we have a multidisciplinary research project uh, sponsored by the Ohio Department of Transportation. That project seeks to identify and develop sectors within the transportation area where uh, UAVs could uh, improve business functions and day-to-day -day operations. The whole idea is that uh, one would deploy a drone at some location, uh, obtain footage from the drone, and then process that footage to come up with various information about how well uh, that particular stretch of highway or that intersection is operating. And the idea would be obtain video from the drone and then in real time process that video. And one of the things we're looking at is the use of the Microsoft HoloLens, which provides an augmented reality that would allow us to be able to, say, have remote meetings. The drone could fly at some location in the state and somewhere else in the state they could have a meeting and they could be wearing those HoloLens and they could literally take a virtual tour in real time of what the drone is seeing. My job is to work in augmented reality. So augmented reality uh, is a step further than virtual reality where you interact with the virtual world. So you see holograms, which is three objects made up of light into the real world. So augmenting real world and virtual world is augmented reality. So in this conference room, I have an empty table in front of me with no 3D models or 3D objects. We should see a 3D model on top of this table and a user interface behind it. On, on this user interface, we have options to make the model bigger, smaller, and sync it with other users. So the changes that we make to this model are also reflected on the perspective of other users. You have computer engineers working with mechanical engineers, working with aerospace engineers, working with transportation engineers. Each has an understanding of what's available out there currently in the marketplace, and we can configure systems to do what we need to do, and where the systems don't meet muster, we can develop from scratch our own components. And the students are where the rubber meets the road. They are actually largely tasked with creating, designing, implementing, debugging, testing, uh, these sorts of uh, systems. Whenever I talk to my friends back in India, they want to pursue higher education, I recommend University of Cincinnati on, on a great value because the department is really helpful, the research is also cutting edge, so you get to hone your skills in those fields, so it's really helpful for your professional skills.